Hello and welcome to Tea Time. I'm Ginger Nelson here with my co-host Nettie Hatcher and today we would like to welcome Frank Sales and John Hicks on the set with us. Welcome. Thanks. Thank you very much. Good to be here. <laughs> now before we talk about Adversity University, I want to, um, I want, Frank, I want you to tell us a little bit about who you are, your background. Okay. Well, I've been in, in Tifton about a dozen years. Uh, I was the, the publisher of the uh, Tifton Gazette and uh, I was in newspapers and magazines for about 30 years all over the southeast. Oh, wow. And um, I also was involved in, in Dale Carnegie training. I did some training for my former newspaper company. So training is something that I've been doing for about 20 years. And uh, that's how we got into Adversity University. And John, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yes, uh, I'm the co-owner with my wife Jessica of Logs to Lumber and Beyond, a custom sawmill business. and. Uh, I had got, a, got hooked on audio learning a little while back and took the Dale Carnegie course, which is where I run across Frank, and um, had had some ideas of different things that was not in our school system or not that, you know, that it's not out there available as far as the learning goes, and, and then got together and got to talking to Frank about it, and we decided to come up with this course based on adversity. I don't know if y'all know, but there's a good bit of adversity around. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> Now you said the two of you met actually at a Dale Carnegie course here in Tipton. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, an assistant with Dale Carnegie courses in Tipton and Valdosta, and John was a participant in one of the courses. And um, we connected and, and both have an interest in uh, helping people and helping people uh, get through things in life. We find that common sense is not that common. And, and a lot of what we talk about in our seminar is common sense, but uh, it's things that people just don't even think about and do every day. Now the Dale Carnegie course, could you explain exactly what type of course is that? It's really a, a human relations and communications course. It's a, uh, a course that Dale Carnegie uh, Association has been doing for like a hundred years all over the world. And it's, it's helping people um, get up and, and talk before audiences and also help them deal with stress in their lives and, and overcome issues in their lives. Great, so it sounds like it's a, a wonderful training tool that people can use in everyday life. Now you mentioned adversity and that's really what we're talking about today. What kind of adversity would you say that the common person faces in their everyday life? They face all kind of adversity. I mean, it's uh, right now, of course, economic adversity is very prevalent. I mean, a lot of folks, you know, with the economy the way it is, people face adversity and, and uh, jobs, you know, job mm -hmm. loss and that type of thing. Uh, they could have health adversity. It could be, you know, health problems and that type of thing. There's challenges every day in your life, so there's adversity all the time. But what we talk about is that with adversity, there's opportunities out there. It's looking for the opportunities, looking for the silver linings. Make that negative a positive. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. One of the things that you said earlier is that um, common sense sometimes <laughs> is not the first thing that you think about. Do you find that sometimes we make problems bigger because we overthink them? Well, we do, we do, and John and I have talked about that. Oh, yeah. There, there's, yeah. you know, we can, we can make things bigger and bigger and bigger in our minds, but it's all in our minds. And so we talk about that a lot, about how to see those things for what they really are, and we give some tools on how to move through problems. Right, John? That's right, and, you know, there's most of the time, if you look in the adversity, there's usually some opportunity there if you don't get too caught up in that adversity that you don't see it. So this seminar lasts for how long? It's a one-day seminar. We're doing it on Tuesday, uh, February 26th, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for break for lunch. And it's going to be at the Tifton Tiff County Chamber of Commerce Civic Room. And it's the third time we've done it at the chamber. We're partnering with them. And chamber members get a discount. Um, but it's for anybody, for non-chamber members also. Is it a new course uh, as opposed to last year's course? Well, it, it's basically the same course, although John and I always try to we're freshen tweaking it up a little it, yeah, bit. It's been we tweak, we tweaked it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so if someone attended it last year who wants to attend it again this year, it would be a little bit different? It'd be a little bit different. It's, it's primarily the same, the same course as we had before. Yeah, the, the, the core of the program would probably still be the same. If they've been before, they've got the main, the nuts and bolts of it, that's for sure. Just a refresher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And right. you may be facing different adversity this year than you were last year, so you may get something out of it this year right. that you didn't last year. We're going to go to a quick break. We're talking today about Adversity University, and we'll be right back with more on Tea Time. Hi, my name's CJ. A few years ago, my father became seriously ill. 
I did what I could do before he passed, but it took its toll. I lost my job, my house. I'm getting back on my feet, but I don't know when there'll be food on the table. How'd I do, CJ? We could be twins. Well, cousins, maybe. <laughs> Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. For over 42 years, Moon's Pharmacy has been committed to providing professional, friendly service, where our pharmacists welcome your questions, offer you overall lower drug costs, and free citywide delivery. While we still believe in good old-fashioned customer service, we also know the importance of staying on the leading edge of pharmacy innovations, such as travel and flu vaccines, custom compounding, and specialty packaging for homebound patients. Choose Moon's Pharmacy. Together, we can make a difference in your health. Does your car have a chip key? If so, stop by Short and Pilot's Key Center in Tifton, Sylvester, Albany, and now in Dawson, where we can cut and program chip keys for most vehicles on the road today. Supply and products that build dreams. Short and Pilot. A little time. A little exercise. A little laugh. <laughs> A little help. He might be in danger of not making it to high school this year if he flunks math. And we just, we just can't have that. A little bit of your support can make a big difference for matches like these. Just ask this high school freshman. Start something today at bigbrothersbigsisters.org slash start something. Welcome back to Tea Time. We've been talking to John and Frank, and they've been telling us a little bit about Adversity University. I love the name. Love it. <laughs> Who came up with the name? I guess I did. We were kind of talking, and it just seemed like a catchy name. A catchy name. I, I wish I could it. take credit for it, but it's Frank. <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't here, though, you really could. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. And, and he wouldn't mind, but uh, he's right. here. <laughs> Bring a little adversity to his life. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So now you have a seminar that is coming up on February the 26th. 26. 26. Mm -hmm. Now can you tell us a little bit about what someone can expect from the seminar, the sure. topics that are included? Well the first thing we end up talking about is uh, attitude because attitude is really the basis for a lot of things. And if the attitude's not right, you're not going to be moving in the right direction. So attitude is very important. Do you find that a lot of people have attitude problems oh yeah we, we all do in the some, workplace we all do i mean some really yeah, yeah. At some point. you know keith harrell who no, is called don't. himself I, I have <laughs> you don't. positive I attitude mean, problems. Here, but, you know. <laughs> of course we don't no. you know keith, keith harrell was dr attitude he said he found people had got an attitude when they found out he was going to talk about attitude they got a little bit of an attitude. Uh, yeah. that makes sense. it really is a choice though it really is. It your is. attitude is. the way that you act is a choice and everybody has days that they feel bad and we just want to come in to everybody out but we have to choose not to right? well we do because we can't choose what happens to us we choose how we respond to it that's right and that's what we talk about i mean it's really making your choices in life it's letting it's letting yourself choose how you're going to respond to things every day and not let other people push your buttons and, like and turn it into something positive instead of being so negative about right. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's well, right. you know, you know, as I say, you know, being happy or being miserable, miserable takes the same amount of work. Mm -hmm. So why not be happy? Why make mm -hmm. yourself miserable? I would or think it almost take more work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, it would. It would. Yeah. Sir John Templeton said you can be, uh, you know, amazed at, you know, how this thorn bush could have this pretty rose, or you can be aggravated how this rose bush has these aggravating thorns. It's just all in how you look at it, you know. Mm -hmm. That's you know, true. It, and it goes back to even Shakespeare said, "There's nothing good or bad; just thinking makes it so." Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so we talk a lot about attitude because attitude really is the basis. And if you get your attitude right, you know, you're well ahead of most folks makes everything else better. Well, it does. It, and you can't really be successful without a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so then you talk about selling your products. Mm -hmm. The yeah. part I really like is the, the brainstorming session because what we've found is most people who come to a course like this, sadly enough, have a pretty fair attitude to start with. You know, we found sometimes we're preaching to the choir, as the old saying goes, if you know what I mean. Yeah, the people but, who need it aren't there. <laughs> <laughs> they got a, such a bad attitude, they don't want to even show up. But anyway, but the brainstorming session we, that we do is where we really sit down and show how to attack a problem that you maybe get a piece of paper out and go through this brainstorming session. And it's been, it was, it's been really neat. I know we did that in one of our classes 
And uh, the person didn't notice they had a local business and they were trying to figure out how to get more traffic or whatnot. And somebody else in the class, because we're doing this brainstorming session, says, you know, I, get, I go right by your business before I really even notice it's there. You know, have you thought mm -hmm. about putting a warning down the road? And they had a property down the road that they could put a sign on. And a few weeks later, I come down the road and saw that sign. I said, look at there. You know, they done yeah. took some action on that, you know. And so it kind of let people know that their business was coming up down the road. And, and, uh, and, and so it's, uh, it's, uh, it was a positive for sure. So mm -hmm. during the course, you do have brainstorming sessions in the where course, you can talk yeah. with each other. We were going to we teach did. the brainstorming yeah. how to go about it. But uh -huh. it was, you know, Frank's like, you know, why don't we just do a brainstorming session in the class? And I said, that's ideal. So they actually take some good ideas from the class. They can bounce it off their, their participants there and really kind of get some feedback that really helps them hone it and, and get, their, get their idea and their plan going. Because if you, you, know, you don't have a plan, you're planning to fail. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you talked about selling. Of course, we're all salespeople. We're all selling ourselves every day. Either we're selling a product or we're selling ourselves. We're selling ideas every day. So we talk about, talk about that. A lot of folks don't realize that they're in sales, but we mm -hmm. are in sales. I love what Zig Ziglar said. Uh, of course, he, he passed away this past year. We were mm -hmm. a big fan of his and all. And he, was, and he was talking about sales and how everything is sales. And he's getting ready to go to the store. And his daughter says, I want to go. He says, no, you stay here. And she says, but I really want to go to the store. No, you just stay here. And, but, Daddy, I love you. And he said, she made a sale. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. Oh, I have a six-year-old that sounds just like that. Uh -huh. They know how to sell. They do. Yeah. They sure do. <laughs> Learn it at an early mm -hmm. age, huh? Mm -hmm. That's right. And we, we talk about uh, seizing opportunities because with adversity, there's opportunities out there everywhere. So if you have an obstacle or challenge in your life, that's what you see, but there's also opportunities beside it or behind it. So we try to help people look through the challenges in their lives and see those opportunities that are there. Opportunities through challenges. Through challenges. That's right. mm -hmm. You know, and challenges can, can make you stronger. Yeah. You know, we give all kind of examples during the course mm -hmm. of where somebody met some, I think the guy who in, invented the starter for the car, he broke his arm trying to crank it. They used to crank it with a hand crank. The old Model T's, you know. And, and he, yeah. he broke his arm yeah. and <laughs> he decided we needed a starter, you know. Yeah. <laughs> a self-starter, you know, and, and, um, and there's just all kind of examples. Of all kind of things in business, like, like sticky notes, you know. The, the uh, engineer for 3M wasn't trying to make sticky notes. He was trying to make something that would actually stick hard. But yeah, that's right. A glue that wouldn't turn loose. And uh -huh. it kept turning loose. It was actually a failure. <laughs> it was supposed to be a failure. And the secretary said, I love these little notes that peel right off. And, of course, they're still around today. You know? Oh, yeah. Every that's day. Right. Yeah. All the right. time. Yeah. And that was supposed to be a failure. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, really? so there's all kind of, you know, things like, you know, the charcoal briquettes. I know John tells that story. About oh, yeah. You know, the Ford uh, used to, the crates and parts of the vehicle were oak, and they were trying to come up with a, what something to do with that material, and they wound up making a charcoal out of it, and that's Kingsford, Kings Ford. I think the store's hey. on the Yeah, hey. that's right. And, uh, and so that's a huge business in, on its, in its own right. And it wasn't what they planned to do, but they yeah. saw the opportunity there. So sometimes you have to get past the problem to find the solution. Right. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Because they're out there. Yeah. So we just try to help people look at those things and, and don't, don't be beat down by challenges and, and adversity, but see the opportunities that are out there. Now during the seminar, are, are you two the people who head up the seminar, or do you mm -hmm. have guest speakers? We're the facilitators. And, and we kind of do a, do a tag team type thing as we're doing Yeah, that. as you noticed. <laughs> yeah. well That's how that. we do it. It yeah. works well. Yeah. 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 And, and it works pretty well. I mean, because John will say something that triggers something in my mind. I'll say something that triggers something in his mind. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad to have Frank by my side for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's a lot of fun. And, and you know, we just, we just want to help people. And that's what's one th why we're doing this. Because, you know, we, we believe that there's a lot of folks that really do need some help with just, you know, getting through adversity in their lives. And so some of the things that we've studied and learned, we just want to impart to other people. Now, who would you um, think that would sign up for this? I mean, who would this, this program be for? Well, it would apply to anybody, but uh, probably, you know, managers. But, you know, we've had a guy in our class said he wanted his kids to come to the class. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really applies to just anybody. I mean, well, I mean, it, you talk about managers, but really, the employees, the employees under the managers yeah. are the ones who yeah. may have the That's the right. attitude That's problems right. and right. the. Exactly. And sometimes they're the ones that come up with an idea in the business. They're right there involved in the business, and they see a need or a way to fix a problem 
that nobody else would spot. That's right. So. And, and sometimes that they're reluctant to even give their ideas. That's right. Sometimes they are. Mm -hmm. and, and so what we try to do in this class, too, we, we try to get them to come up with, you know, a couple of ideas that they can actually work on. And we, we, send that, we actually do uh, some follow-up. Uh, before the class is over, they, they write down where they want to be in three months with that idea or whatever, mm -hmm. and they, they put in an envelope. Three months later, we mail that envelope to them. Oh, really? So, yeah. so they, yeah. can, they get a, a letter from themselves saying, this is where I'm going to be in three months with this. Mm -hmm. They can test whether they're there or not. Interesting. That's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is great. Yeah. Well, we're going to go to a quick break. We're talking today about Adversity University, and we'll be right back with more on Tea Time. A little time. A little exercise, a little laugh, a little help. He might be in danger of not making it to high school this year if he flunks math. And we just, we just can't have that. A little bit of your support can make a big difference for matches like these. Just ask this high school freshman. Start something today at bigbrothersbigsisters.org slash start something. For those dealing with the daily struggles of caring for a loved one, we hear you. That's why AARP created a community with experts and other caregivers to help us better care for ourselves and the ones we love. time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Hi, everybody. This is John Barry. Be sure and watch Tea Time with Ginger and Nettie weekdays right here on the Wiregrass Channel. Welcome back to Tea Time. We've been talking to John and Frank, and they've been telling us a little bit about Adversity University, turning adversity into opportunities. Turning problems into profits. Oh, that's great. Problems <laughs> into profits. That's right. That's great. And I love what you've got on your website um, where it talks about, it says problems are only opportunities in work clothes. They are. Roll up your sleeves, you know. And too often people don't want to do that. They don't want to put in the work. But it, it, it takes some work sometimes, but it's well worth it. You mentioned our website, you know, people can register for our class on our website. It's www.adversitytraining.com. And we have uh, details of the class on there. We have, uh, of course, you can register on there. You can even uh, pay for the class on there. And again, the class is when? It's Tuesday, February 26th from 9 to 5 p.m. at the Tifton Tiff County Chamber of Commerce Civic Room. And how much is the cost? Well, chamber members get a 22% discount. So it's $69 if you're a Tiff chamber member and $89 otherwise. Okay, not bad. No, it's open to anybody. Now it could did. pay, could, I'm sorry, could pay back big dividends and I mean, it could be a really That's good right. investment. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned off air that if you're not able to attend the course that day, there is still hope. Tell us about that. <laughs> there <laughs> is. Uh, John and I uh, went to the studio and recorded a 45-minute um, audio version of Adversity University. And uh, you, can, you can get it for download on our website. And it's, it's, uh, it covers the basics. I mean, obviously it's not the full course because it's only 45 minutes, but we try to touch on uh, all aspects of it, and uh, people can get that uh, anytime and download it. So an audio. So if you're unavailable to come to the seminar, they can go online and purchase this. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, how can someone who attends this conference, how can they expect this to affect their life? 
Well, it could, it's just to, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. I mean, when, because uh, we're going to go over things and like we've been talking about is some of the possibilities that are in the adversity. Uh, and when you start looking at things differently, sometimes the problem is a blessing. I mean, there's just so many examples of that. I think about what, uh, you know, one of the authors we studied, Napoleon Hill, talked about, you know, if you'd had a house fire and you knew there were some diamonds in there, you'd go digging around in those ashes and see if you could find those diamonds. And and that's what, you know, when you get a, a problem, you need to dig around that thing and find out what kind of opportunity is hidden in that problem. And not just give up that's because right. the problem right. seems so big, but that's maybe right. try to go around it and make it into mm -hmm. something good. That's right. You know, and that's also right. we find that, that people limit themselves. You know, oftentimes, you know, we'll, we'll blame others, we'll blame, oh, well, it's, it's the boss at work, <laughs> or, oh, it's my spouse, you know, I can't do this because my spouse won't. No, uh-uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> don't use that one. <laughs> don't use that one. But, but we always have a tendency to blame somebody uh -huh. else when it's, well, it's ourselves that we need to look at because mm -hmm. we limit ourselves. And if we can stop limiting ourselves and think larger, we can accomplish so much. Now, as far as registering, can you register online? Sure. Yeah. And then, but if maybe you don't know you're going to be able to attend, you can come in and register that day at the door as well. Is that right? You sure can. We'll, we'll be at the chamber starting at about uh, 8 a.m. that day. The course starts at, at 9 a.m. But if they want to come in that morning, we'll have a seat for you. Does this include lunch as well? No, it doesn't. We have lunch on your own. Okay, So we'll have, okay. we'll have a break for lunch, and people can, can go out and get lunch and then come back. Get out and discuss the... Adverse That's right. That's right. <laughs> adversity That's right. and turning them into opportunities. Great. That's right. Yeah. When we come back, we actually get into the brainstorming session like we were talking mm -hmm. about and then devise a plan, set up a plan. Uh, to so take do you put them in groups like, when it's the brainstorming? Mm -hmm. and they, it depends on the number of people. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and basically, I mean, the brainstorming can give you, oh, you great leave, ideas. Yes, you can leave the it class does. with a great idea. and. Uh, and so that's, a, like I mentioned a while ago, we were originally just going to show the proper way to go through the brainstorming session, but then we decided to do it in the class. And so you could leave there with a great idea. And it only takes one idea to turn everything around. That's right. Or you could leave there with a solution to that's your right. problem. That's, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And a positive attitude. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guarantee that. I mean, we talk about all kinds of tips about staying positive. I mean, we, you know, putting affirmations, you know, maybe on your bathroom mirror. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When you wake up in the morning, to, and when, before you go to bed at night, things that you see. To, I to am skinny. You've got to see it before you can believe it. Right? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> and then you say, well, I don't need to run today. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still got to take action. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I read it. I'll believe it, huh? <laughs> well, there's so many examples of that. I, there was a commercial a while back where, you know, it shows the athlete and he's going, "I'm going to Disney World. I'm going to Disney World." And the the prize, you know, one of the uh -huh. you know, the benefits was you got to go to Disney World if you won. And uh, and you, people see that commercial don't realize just how much science is behind what they're doing, and they're making light of it and a joke of mm -hmm. it and everything. And right here after the Olympics, they were running the commercial where the the person's watching the person set the record. And they see that time that they've got to beat, and they put it down and hit the track and go to work on mm -hmm. it right away. But they're getting that vision in their mind of what they've got to beat. And they got they've that got goal. Beat. That's and right. it's important to have a goal. We talk about goals. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a goal, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. Mm -hmm. And you might wind up somewhere else. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Might be the wrong road, <laughs> huh? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So do you that's think right. a positive, made up mind really makes a big difference? Oh, oh man. definitely. Gosh. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It's scientific fact now. It's not mm -hmm. just, I mean, it's scientific fact. I think Tony Robbins, even they do blood work to show, you know, how much, um, you know, how much it changes and releases the endorphins in your system uh, of what a positive mind could do. You know, you know, Zig Ziglar used to say a positive mind won't do anything for you, but it'll enable you to do everything better than a negative mind will. Wow. And also we talk about visualization. A lot of athletes use visualization. Uh, before they, they make that goal, before they, they make that hole in golf, they think about it. They see themselves doing it before oh. they do it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's very important. Mm -hmm. Well, now tell us again, when is this conference? It's Tuesday, February 26th, okay. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Tipton Tiff County Chamber of Commerce Civic Room. And what's a phone number that people can call if they have any questions? They can call me at 229-848-7043, uh, or they can call John. They can call me at 392-3984. And that web address again? It's 
adversitytraining.com. Well, thank you both for coming on the show today. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. We enjoyed it. We're feeling more positive yeah. now. Right. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Right? It is. Shine. We're going to have good attitudes all day long. <laughs> Well, if you've got some adversity in your life, don't miss Adversity University coming right here to Tifton real soon. Thank you for watching Tea Time, and we'll see you next time right here on Plant Tiffnet's Wiregrass Channel 3.